What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to teach you all how to nollie late flip. So I've been seeing more people do nollie late flip, especially in recent years. And I, actually I think it's a pretty easy trick, so I'd like to break it down for you guys. It may look kind of hard, but after a while you get the hang of it and it's pretty fun. So the key to a good nollie late flip is all in the pop. You want to pop a nollie and with the back foot you're going to kick back and level it out. And so that's the most important part of it. Otherwise, you won't be able to get your flick in on time or you won't be able to flick as well and, and get it fully rotated to land on it. So you want to have a good pop before anything else. So first step, you want to pop, level it out with your back foot. Make sure you get a good height so you have um, enough time to flick the nollie after. So this is how I set up for a nollie leg flip. I have my front foot in the pocket right here pointed towards the front and you want to keep it in that pocket to give it a good pop and you want to have your foot more off over here to get it ready to um, give you a fast flick so that's where I set up my front foot I have it pretty pointed and my back foot I'll have it like in the center of the board not too off the front or off the back uh, just right in the center pretty straight and right above the back bolts so that's how I set up for a nollie late flip. So once you pop the nollie in the air, it should pretty much look and feel like this. You're going to, with your back foot, you're going to be leveling it out. And with the front foot, you're going to draw it back and you're going to kick it out to the side. So that's the reason why you want your foot off, your foot off to the side here in the first place. You want to be able to uh, draw it back and just flick it out and that's going to be a very fast motion. So if you had your foot more on the board, you wouldn't be able to do that. So you bring it back or I guess I mean you can flick it out to the side, but it makes it way quicker and easier to just have it off to the side right here in the first place. So that's the key. You want to pop and then while you're after your back foot levels it out, you want to level it out in the air and just give it that really quick flick. So that's just the, the key motion to nollie late flip. You just want to give it that flick. So some problems that you might come across when trying nollie late flips are not getting the flip in on time, uh, not flipping very well at all, or just landing off, landing kind of crooked and not like having a good balance when you land. So you can pretty much prevent those things by just making sure you get a really good pop because that's the key to the trick in the first place you need a, a really good high pop to get the flip in and at the same time keeping a really straight nollie you want your nollie to be straight throughout the whole thing so that when you land you're not landing crooked and uh, having a risk for slipping out or anything like that so once again the key to a nollie late flip is really just in a good solid pop uh, leveling out the nollie and just getting in that really quick flick. So it may take a while to get, a, get the hang of, especially the uh, the flick part, but other than that, once you got that down, it becomes pretty easy. So you can do nollie late flips on hips, banks, quarter pipes, stairs. So if you like these videos, you have any suggestions on what else you want to see, uh, comment, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.